The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Lord essentially says we're not home. I've said that recently. We're not home. We're, we are pilgrims on a journey. And so we cannot cling too tightly to this life as, it is, as if it were our, the whole of our existence. And we're passing through. And we have an example in uh, today's liturgy of Deacon Lawrence. Deacon Lawrence lived in the third century, in the 200s, in Rome. And obviously he was a martyr. I'm wearing the red vestment of a martyr. And during that time, during that season in the church, and particularly in Rome, there was a great persecution. And so the Pope was, was arrested and the other uh, leaders of the church were arrested. And guess who was left in charge? Deacon Lawrence, okay? And Deacon Lawrence was also in charge of the church's treasury, okay? Now understand this, thinking back to the Old Testament even. And when God gave the commandments for how to build the temple and how to appoint the temple, he wanted gold used. He wanted the best that could be given. And so there were these gold furnishings and gold table and gold lampstand and all of those things. And from the beginning of the church, from the beginning of Christianity, we've always wanted to give the best that we have to God, right? I mean, this building, for example, I'm always so privileged when people visit Bay St. Louis and they comment on what a build, beautiful building this is. And it really is a beautiful building to the glory of God for everybody to come in here and kind of experience a heart and mind lifted up. But this building will pass away. Just as the temple in Jerusalem passed away. Just as all those gold furnishings that were part of the temple were stolen by the Romans. Well, St. Lawrence is there in Rome and they arrested everybody, but they left him free for a few days to do what? To gather up the treasure to give to the persecutors. And so what did he do with the vessels and the fine finery and the other things that were part of the liturgical accoutrements of the church. What did he do with all those things? He gave them away, gave them to the poor, distributed them to the masses. And then it was time for him to, to be arrested, to be called in. And what did he bring with him? He brought with him the poor and the sick and the lame. And he said, here's the treasure of the church, the body of Christ the broken humanity redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Well, what do you think their reaction to that was? See, I'm wearing the red vestment today, okay? <laughs> so, so he was actually, believe it or not, he was cooked to death. He was grilled. He was put on a, a spit and he was not on a spit, but on a grill and, and they, they slowly tortured him with fire to death. And it's a little maybe dark humor, but he's the patron of cooks, you know, so uh, patrons hate of cooks. St. Lawrence, St. Lawrence, he understood, I think, two things that we hold in tension, that we have beautiful things, 
We have beautiful things to worship God with, and we should have. We should give God our best. But at the same thing, it's all passing away, isn't it? And ultimately, the treasure of the church is the souls. The treasure of the church is you and me. The treasure of the church is those redeemed by the blood of Christ, washed in his grace. And so, my brothers and sisters, we will worship God and we will hopefully give him our best. But at the same time, we know that unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. May our lives and may our generous giving to the church and to the poor, may our lives and our giving be fruitful produce much fruit as Deacon St. Deacon Lawrence's did.